Hello, what is up everybody? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I've been thinking about doing this one for a while and when you know it, they just released Pikmin 1 and 2 on the Switch online. So, uh, you know, figured I'd jump in and play this. Pikmin 4 coming out in a couple of weeks. Um, wanted to refresh myself a little bit. Haven't played in a very long time. So very excited to do so. How's it going? How y'all doing? Let's get started. Hey, Lo-Fi. Hey, Ed. How you guys doing? How's Minecraft going? I saw you were playing. I saw Jake's in there with you guys, too. I'm going to hide myself during the uh, super important cutscene here. Also, my setup's a little bit different for this since I'm on my Switch, so if the audio or anything is weird, let me know, and I'll fix it. Hopefully. Starting with the spaceship crashing to a weird planet. I don't know if any of you guys have played Pikmin before or not, but this is a very fun game. I've played through this many times. And we start at the impact site. With our favorite man, Captain Olimar. Waking up on a strange planet. The dolphin in less than ideal shape. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet with so many parts lost. The skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no. Better not think about it. I must find the missing sp ship parts. So yeah, we have 30 days, our ship is busted, and we have to uh, find the parts for it. There are 30 missing parts, we have 30 days to find all of them. The faster the better. Play this lad, Captain Olimar. What is this? I don't remember the names of most of the enemies, so, uh, you know, I won't be using the, their names. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I should call this an onion, too. It's growing. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now uh, produced an adorable little sprout. The sprout emits a strange light, and it sways back and forth with, uh, without benefit of wind. It ca I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I'm compelled. I must approach it and press A. Hello, yeah, little man. Classic red Pikmin. Extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It, sta it just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots. I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A, and I will call it to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps it will react to pressing X or moving right thumbstick while holding L as well. The following controls appear to allow me several viewpoints. LZ, snap camera behind LMR. Right thumbstick, right to camera. Uh, ZR, zoom. Up and down, change perspectives. Okay. Alright, there we go. Get my controls down. Oh, 
how do I? Because it did say something about holding L and moving the thumbstick around, but that's not working. And maybe that's because I only have one of them right now. I don't remember. Oh. What does this Pikmin think of me? I must observe its reactions. The more things I try, the more reactions I can catalog. I shall attempt to grab and throw it with A and then call- Oh, it's just telling me. To do the things again. This is L. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Get the flower pellet. Astonishing. The onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting out a flower appears to be some sort of some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study the strange life form more. I probably should just let these guys turn into flowers, but that would take too long. I know it's day one and I have unlimited time, but... Nope, I didn't mean to throw that one. Sorry, bud. There's the five pellet. Oh, and another one. Alright, guys, come on. You getting stuck on the first thing you try to pick up? Pick up the pace. Pick up the little guys. This will most certainly not be like a deathless run or anything because it has probably been 10 years since I played this game, but I'm going to try to do the best I can to not needlessly sacrifice. I recently watched another person do a playthrough of this and with that with my memory, I vaguely remember most of the levels and bosses and stuff. <coughs> Pikmin are, curi are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of the Pikmin conduct. Approach and hold A to pick Sprout. Yeah, okay. I know how to do all that. Uh, use Z, L, or up, down, left, and right on the right for perspective. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, so I can use this to see all that stuff. I'll get that in just a second. <laughs> I do like that you can play this game as like a proper top down RTS.
Amazing. There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But how will I get it back to the dolphin? Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, so there's 30 pieces to the ship. I believe you need like 25 of them are required to leave. And then there's a couple of like vanity ones that you don't necessarily need, but give you a better ending. And then there's one that's like you to the final piece you have to get to get the best ending, but it's also not required to survive. Alright, I thought there might be enough there, but there's not. I wanted to leave some of these in the dirt, but... Yeah, yeah. Alright, lads. Back to your friends. Actually, I don't know if you're friends. I'm just assuming. This place gets a lot more exciting on subsequent days. <laughs> There's not really much here on tutorial day. But most of these platforms are like filled with pellets to get more Pikmin. This is a very good place to come like if you're low on Pikmin, you just come here and build up all your forces. Oh, there's one up there. Hold on. I don't want you guys to finish before I get... Okay, I didn't want all of you to come, but whatever. Don't want them to finish before I get that because I think once I get the engine, I might have to leave. Also, I tried to do this. I tried to play this with my GameCube controller, but it doesn't let me, which is sad. I would have loved to be able to use a GameCube controller for this. Luckily, the ship reorients itself on its own. <laughs> that probably would have been difficult for the Pikmin to do. Oh, glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. Yeah, it automatically is today. I should have picked those two Pikmin that were in the ground. Unless it gave, unless that's these two? I don't remember. No, they were the two that were carrying the pellet, I think. Maybe it did pick them. I don't actually know. If so, we'll pick them when we get back. Doesn't look like there's any left behind. I don't remember if it shows them in the cutscene normally or not, though. One day since, in fact, I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lifts off with me. Perhaps the pigmen cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Ho Hokitate. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the keys to my survival, I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it tomorrow. Okay, so it did give me the two that were buried in the ground. All right, 23. Oh, no, it, no, it didn't, because I sprouted 25, but I only have 23 on the ship, so two of them stayed behind. All right, then. Well, then I will return for them sometime in the future. The Forest of Hope. 
So yeah, as you can see, it tells you there's the stars in the bottom right are the amount of parts in that area. So there's one part left there, and was that eight parts in this area? The Forest of Hope is lousy with ship parts. I think there's five areas, including the last level. I think. Maybe six? At least five. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on, the sur on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. Start breaking that wall down, friends. I don't have yellow Pikmin yet, so I'm gonna just steal that one for the reds. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I remember these ones, th these red lads. The small ones are called bulb orbs, and the big ones are called bulb bears, I think. Those little guys over there, and then that big guy is the bull bear. Something like that. Again, it's been like 10 years since I played this, so this is going off very old memory. Also, I only got one Pikmin from that pellet because it was a yellow pellet. You get more if the pellet matches the, the pellet color matches the ship color. So I'm about to fight this thing. There's a couple different ways you can approach fighting. Um, some enemy, most enemies have some sort of weak spot or like spot where they take more damage. Uh, you can either just run at this guy and throw Pikmin at him. You can do this to like corral them at him. You can dismiss them and they'll all run and charge. But these guys um, take more damage if they're hit on their the little red back part rather than their face. So like if I can do this, I can get like a sneak attack and get, oh, I missed. But see, like two of them on the back does like sneak attack damage and can basically like one or two shot them. And it is better to have the Pikmin color match the color of the things that they return, like I said, but at this point it's just kind of gather as many as you can as fast as you can, get your numbers up early. Just let whoever take whatever. Uh, the red Pikmin, the, so there's water here. The red Pikmin will drown. So you don't want to go in water with them. As you can see here, there are three plots, so there are more. And obviously, you can see the yellow pellets. There are more types of Pikmin to gather. And each subsequent game actually adds more new colors. I know there's white, purple, and rock Pikmin. And then there's like ghost Pikmin in the new game. I don't know if there are any other ones, but. I would break that bridge down, but I can't really do anything with it yet because the other bridge is in the water. Uh, that little jingling sound means that I'm a quarter of the way through the day. The timer is at the top there. Um... And you really gotta try to finish up before the night. As you can see, here's another ship part. <clears throat> Why, this is the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. It has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my flight for survival a bit easier. Fight for survival, probably, is what that said, not flight. How many do I need here? 40. That happens to be exactly how many I have on me right now, actually. <laughs> so that's convenient. Oh, 
Also, Olimar does have like a little attack he can do. I can like smack. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does some damage. He can lend a hand sometimes. As you get more colors of Pikmin and open up more of the maps, this game becomes a lot about multitasking and like, all right, these 30 Pikmin will go and get this item while these 40 help me come beat this boss while those 30 start breaking down that wall. A lot about micromanaging. Which, you know, RTS, so sort of how those work. Um, the numbers at the bottom, bottom middle is how many Pikmin I currently have on my squad. Um, bottom middle, or the middle is how many I currently have out of the onion. And then the far right is how many Pikmin I have total. It will tell me this when I hit that, but you can only have a hundred out at one time. Eternal Fuel Dynamo, this should light things up. No more candles for me. I have now recovered two out of 30 parts. If I can find just three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. So that means I need to find three more parts and then I can go to the next area. This is, I, oh, it's some sort of grass. It might be wheat grass that they call it. Uh, but when the Pikmin eat it, they grow flowers. Another intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass uh, produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This apparent Pikmin, uh, Pikmin favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strengths and per, uh, peculiar, peculiarities of these flower Pikmin. Uh, flower Pikmin are faster and stronger. So it's good to get as many of them as quickly as you can. As many as you can, as quickly as you can. Um, also, if a Pikmin is buried in the ground, it will gradually flower. Um, yeah. Also, if you leave a Pikmin buried overnight, when you come back the next day, it will have a flower. There is no nectar there. That's unfortunate. All right, so you can see the, the green ones are kind of falling behind a little bit. Or the leaf ones, I should say, are falling behind a bit. I think for this guy, the best bet is to just charge at him from behind to get as many Pikmin on his back as possible. I may be wrong. Throwing them might be the best, but that works. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do as few as possible on these and then I'm going to put the rest to work breaking down the wall you guys don't need it why'd you why'd you team up what was that about also what are you doing tired single one there this it's a one it's a one piece anyway you, this is need five or ten ten My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter the, uh, on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Yeah, I already said all that, so. Oh. Nope. Oh, come on. It returned all of them to me because they were tired? Dumb. All right, well, you know what? I threw two more because the nine took too long to show up, so you get 11. Oh, nope, never mind. He's going to come back anyway. <laughs> They're going to start breaking down that wall. The ball bear's coming. Getting flowers early is good, but this early, like, I need to have 100 Pikmin with me. I mean, I guess I don't need to. It, it's later that you really want to have as many as possible, but... Once you get over 100, you can also put them back in the ship and, like, exchange them when you have more than one color. Um, and when you call Pikmin out of the ship that are stored in there, all of the flowers will come out first. So it prioritizes the best ones. Also, there are three different varieties. There's the leaves, there's the flowers, and then there is an in-between stage, which is buds. Which just have, like, a little flower bulb on them. Maybe they're called bulbs, but, you know. 
same difference. Look at this. You guys are almost done breaking down this wall. There's a bunch of bull bears in here. Now, I don't remember if this is exactly how it works, but I think if I kill the baby, it'll wake up the mom. <laughs> Which might be dangerous. So let's see if I can file in here. Get ready for the, the rear assault. Oh, no. No, there's, why are they attacking so slowly? All right, I lost some. I lost a couple. Rip. But, as you can see here, look. New friends. We got a new ship. And it automatically plants some, uh, some seeds for us. He's got ears. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has has what in some circles could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than, than the others. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? I must be sure to observe it closely. I can hold a Pikmin for a moment with A and then swap for another by pressing R. Um, yeah, so the yellow ones, Fly, you can throw further or throw higher. Uh, I'm going to quickly set my red guys down over here. They're gonna in vain try to break down that wall, but. And then inevitably come back to me. <clears throat> Oh, nice. You guys got drawers on the server. That's awesome. Super helpful. I saw you guys got an echo ore last night. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> to get so early. Okay, we're three quarters of the way through the day. I'm just trying to build up my yellow numbers for right now. Because it will be useful. Uh, there is one more use for them that I want to get out of the way before tomorrow so that I make sure I don't run out of uh, resources, but... So, another thing is there are these. The yellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be uh, instinctive to the yellow Pikmin. But just what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly glowing cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there's tremendous power locked away within. This merits further research. So, we've got ourselves some little bomby boys. Uh, okay. The glowing rocks the yellow Pikmin picked up seem to be explosive stones. Perhaps they know that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them, but they should be able to blast open the stone walls that block the pathways. I may even be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. So when you throw them, if there's somewhere for them to drop them at, they will drop it and run back to you. Um, if you dismiss that, if you dismiss them, or no, sorry, if you throw them and then call them back, they will just drop it where they're at and it will explode. I believe if you dismiss them and then recall them, it doesn't do that. But you gotta be careful because sometimes you can blow up your Pikmin. I must be vigilant. When I throw bomb rocks carrying bomb rocks uh, carrying Pikmin and give them orders, they will toss their bomb rocks at nearby walls or obstacles. The explosive power of the bomb rocks is tremendous, so I must keep my distance. Okay, why did that one not throw it? <laughs> that was a bit worrying. So these walls take three bombs to explode. Um, uh, 
do want to pick those up because if I throw Pikmin, I believe they will, uh... It will explode that bomb rock, too. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to make sure you get that done before the next day. <clears throat> or before the day is over, I should say. Uh, at the end of the day, any Pikmin that are in an onion are safe. Any Pikmin that are in your starting area are safe. Any Pikmin that are in the ground are safe, and any Pikmin that you are holding on to in your party are safe. Any other ones will be left behind. And die. <laughs> Quite horrible deaths in-game. Uh-oh. That bomb one should not have gone out there. Uh, if more than one color of Pikmin is carrying a thing. My clock is indicating the approach of a sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath the dolphin and onions. Okay, so I just said that. Um, uh, like this, there's two yellows and a red carrying it. The majority will rule in that case. I have made yet another Pikmin related discovery. Just when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the onion stopped expelling seeds, yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. It seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at one time in any area. Um, but if there's an even number, I think it just may randomly decide. I don't actually know how that works. And with that, I think that was a success successful day two. Opened both of these pathways and got the, the piece, found the yellow Pikmin. I probably could have rushed getting the yellow Pikmin and then um, blown up the walls immediately and gone in maybe another part, but that's not, you know, super necessary. Gives you a nice countdown. I like the music and sound effects in this game a lot. Something Nintendo is pretty uh, consistently good at. This was the first game that I ever owned on a game on the GameCube, by the way. I know that's a super interesting tidbit. Uh, oh, I could have blown up that other wall. Two days since impact, it appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in, the, in this region. If I can just recover the parts, the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. Uh, how that would improve my chances? Uh, then, then I'd only have to press plus to locate my parts. Yet they're seeing. There seem to be many hostile life forms here. If I am uh, attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make space to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter uh, in the bottom left corner of the screen. What happened to Ad Lofi? I thought you meant he died in a vault or something. Alrighty. So, I don't have, I don't think I have a full force of yellows yet. Also, reds are more generally useful than yellows are, I think. Let's see how many of these folks I can get into, uh, flowers.
So yeah, these flowers, I don't know if they have a chance to regrow or if they'll always regrow, but, um, or like if only some of them will always regrow because obviously not all of them have come back. The enemies don't come back immediately. Um, I don't know how long it takes them to come back. Whoops. Is Jake still on with you too, Lo-Fi? That one didn't have a bomb. Oh, you idiot. That stupid Pikmin. He went out when I didn't tell him to. Well, I mean, I guess I technically did, but for some reason it went to him instead of my next bomb guy, and then he started beating down the wall instead of running away. Stupid yellow Pikmin. Looks like I have a full team now. Uh, let's eat some more of this here grass. See if we can get some of our yellows flowered and the rest of our reds. Wow, there's a lot of uh, nectar in here. That's great. Couple flowers left or uh, leaves left. If you only put one Pikmin on the nectar, I believe it will eat all the nectar, but you can get many on there at once. So you try to get as many on at once as you possibly can. This also might have just been a shortcut, I think. But, uh, you know, it's good to get to. What the fuck? Why did it not land on top? Alright, well. It's fine. Uh, I think you can also throw the flowered ones further in general than the leaf ones. If I'm not mistaken. And I often do be mistaken. I do be mistaken sometimes. Come on, get him. Nice. Nice. Break down that wall. I don't remember which piece is the radar piece that I need to get. Uh, so this is a dark stone wall that takes, whoa. Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. The dark stone walls take way more, maybe twice as many, but um, wow. All right, well I lost two of Pikmin, aren't he? The purple bugs are, are pretty nasty. I don't believe the white ones kill. The purple ones, you, I, I should have thrown directly out rather than trying to swarm. But that's fine. I'll, I'll let these guys just go for it. For now. Oh, there's the radar. Okay. bombs over there a little spoiler for the next the last color pikmin there on these pellets <laughs> though i don't think that would probably have been too hard to guess i don't know how those pikmin got on the other side there i think they might have just glitched through i know there's a hole over there but i did not send them through that way 
but yeah, the dark walls and the dark, or like the dark thatch walls and the dark um, stone walls are harder to break through. Okay, you lot, we're gonna go kill these bulborbs and get our radar dish back. Okay, well they just immediately got eaten. Great. Oh, wait. Oh, they just, they got eaten and then immediately replaced. See, I said it's not a no-death run, but, you know, we're not going to lose too many. Please go this way and not that way. Good. Oh, right, because I opened the shortcut, so they go this way to get back. Otherwise, they would go the long way around. The pathing, not always the best, but usually decent enough. Thankfully. The radar is definitely an important piece to get, though. <clears throat> it's my whimsical radar. With this, I'll be able to see all nearby ship parts in a single glance. I just press plus to check it. I just plus, press plus to check it. This find fills me with great hope. Great hope in, from the forest of hope. Recover all these lads that I have back here. Oh, you know what? I do have a bunch more nectar here I can gather, too. For the new folks that I just got. Uh, midday. The whimsical radar. This important part can detect the locations of the other missing parts. The radar will be added to the monitor, which I can press plus to view. I can scan with uh, left thumbstick or zoom with right thumbstick. This will surely help me search for the remaining parts. I have now recovered three out of 30 parts. If I can find just two more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. So yeah, this is what the map looks like. And it shows you where the rest of the parts are. There's still six left. Uh, I can go get these two pretty easily. Actually, all three of these. Oh, uh, no, I can't get this one without water. This one's past the water. Those two are... Or, yeah, these two I think I need to get behind the water for. So I have two more parts I can easily get right now. Let's see if I can try to get them both today, because that would be ideal. Because believe it or not, the next area is where I get the ability to cross the water. Shocking revelation, probably, but I do not tell a lie. See, the problem with, like, organizing them is that sometimes they'll do that and pick up something when you don't actually want them to. Someone just... Oh, come on. Did I save it? Hey, I saved it. Nice. All right. Let's throw some reds at this. How many do I need? 30. Okay. How is that only 29? Oh, there we go. It's like, what? You got one more in there? No? Oh, there it is. I found the Nova Blaster. This emits a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything. I'm not exactly sure about this, but the promotional brochure claims that it bla the, its blast can travel in currents of space-time, smashing through stars and into the rifts of space. I'm pretty sure this is one of the, like, vanity ones that's not required to finish the game, but, you know, completionist. Gotta get all of them.
So you gotta be careful when throwing like a bunch of these bomb guys at once because if you throw, I think two is the most you can like easily do without them accidentally blowing each other up. That one didn't drop his rock for some reason. I don't know why they're doing that sometimes. I might need more than six actually. I thought it only took six. Maybe it's like eight. Or nine. Nova Blaster. This is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can blast stars into tiny pieces. It has a strange allure. I've now recovered four out of 30. <clears throat> if I can find just one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Well, there are more rocks right here, so. This is why I wanted to blow up these walls last time. So that I could be sure to have extra bombs. Because they don't respawn throughout the day. There we go. Kind of want to get rid of this bomb now. Oh, he just came back and didn't drop the bomb? What? Since when? That's new, because that's not how that used to work. <laughs> it's the extraordinary bolt. I bought this incredible bolt because of the salesman told me it is of extraordinary quality that is indiscernible to the average person. Exactly what makes it so extraordinary is a secret, but just look at it. Extraordinary. So I say these ones are like optional, but it's kind of hard to not get these two considering they're the ones that don't require you to go past the water to get to in this first level. So they may be more or less required. I should have thrown right at that, but I'm mostly just trying to harvest these as quickly as possible before the end of the day. I should have verified that there are no monsters out there, but I'm fairly certain there's not. Well, they got back quickly. This, bolt, this bolt's bolt holds the kind of value uh, that only a true connoisseur can understand. I have recovered five out of 30 parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. And with that, there's a cutscene. I like that the ship actually changes as you recover parts and fix it. Like you can see the parts that get added. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So you can throw bombs at these enemies to hurt them. It's just risky. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Um, I don't really know what else to do before the end of this day. I guess I could start trying to break down this wall over here, but not really much use in it, I don't think. Eh, I'm, I'll, I mean, I might do it just to pass the time. Uh, you can also look at your radar and see, like, I have two yellow pigmen over there and a red one up there that I need to go rescue before the end of the day. I'm glad I looked at this. <laughs> Yikes. There's a couple of red pigmen over here. How'd you guys get stuck back there? What are you doing? It's a little dangerous breaking down this barricade with um, non-blue pigmen because they do sometimes get a little confused and will walk into the water, but... I also want to get rid of that guy because I don't want him around to accidentally blow anybody up. Accidentally or otherwise. So yeah, you gotta be careful with this sometimes because they can get confused. And again, I the full extent of this may not uh, hold for next time, but like some of the that barrier might respawn. But 
what they finished. And we are back. Safe and sound in our base. With all 100 Pikmin. Barely any time wasted. I mean, I'm sure one or two of those parts I could have probably gotten um, without the blues, without the last Pikmin type, but it's much safer to actually have the right kind. <laughs> This is a fairly short game. Um, probably take maybe three streams to beat. I could possibly do it in two if I wanted to do some longer ones, but during the week, that's a little bit harder to do. Three days since impact. I now add yellow Pikmin to my list of discoveries. These creatures can wield bomb rocks, so perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new reaches. I've done that a lot already, Olimar. Uh, red and yellow Pikmin, as well as bomb rock carriers, break into squads when dismissed with X. If I can grab one for a moment by holding A, I can swap Pikmin by pressing R. Yes, uh, press X, aka the uh, segregation button, as Ray referred to it as in his stream of this game. Ray Narvaez Jr., if you've not watched him before, I'm sure. You don't need, he doesn't need me recommending people for him, but <laughs> he seems to be doing pretty well on his own. All right, to the forest navel. The belly button of the forest. This place is pretty cool. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna do a similar breakdown. I think 40 and 60. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna do 30 and 50 and leave some space for blues. Just to be safe. So I can just like bring them down here, I think, or like throw them down or drop down over here. But it's best to open up all these shortcuts and stuff as quickly as you possibly can for obvious reasons. It makes navigating way more easy, way easier, more easy. It's better. I think Olimar might also be able to do this now. He can hit some stuff. So might have probably it might have been better to have a hundred Pikmin out to do this, but get it done a little more quickly. But they also are addicts for this nectar, so if they get anywhere near where nectar might spawn, they will do their best to gobble it up. Can I not? I thought I could. Uh... Interesting. Maybe I need to get the blues before I can do that. Actually, I might be able to... Well, I want to get the blues. So, I wonder if I can taunt him. Hmm. That son of a bitch is annoying, but... Not the hardest thing to... Get when you know his trick. Blink. No yellows. That's not for you. That's why I just missed you up here. Derpy little face. No ears on this one. 
It's a Pikmin of yet another color. Near this one's cheeks is what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that the blues, the, bl this blue type of Pikmin can enter the water without any trouble. What gave you that idea? The fact that it spawns in water? There's only one way to find out. I will use A to hold one and press R to swap it out and issue my commands. Well, I mean, it's in the water, Olimar. What do you mean? Like you're standing, it, it got planted in the water. Oh, no. Okay, so they will drown if they go in the water. But if you're quick enough, you can call them back and stop them from drowning. You idiots, leave. See, this is where they get a little bit annoying sometimes. <laughs> um, if you don't babysit them, they can sometimes try to pick up stuff that they're not supposed to. Uh, also, I think blues can help save drowning Pikmin of other colors. You can see there's like a booster jet down there. This day is going to be a lot of propagating blue Pikmin. <clears throat> All right. Well, I didn't want him to go up there. You can't get back over here. Well, unfortunate. Can you break this? Oh, it's just already open. Okay, I thought it had to be activated. I guess the bubbling meant that it's already activated. That's good. There's a couple bosses on the... A couple bosses? I think there's two bosses on this map. Maybe not. Maybe there's only one. And how many pieces? A bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. One of which, actually, I should probably be having these guys get. Uh... So these green guys are dangerous like the purple ones, plus they fly. Which is no bueno. Gels will drop down and hopefully have enough to pick that up. Yeah, falls can sometimes be an issue. They should be able to get back safely. I opened the pathway up there. Wait, how did I lose four Pikmin? How did four Pikmin die? I am confused. I think some of the yellows might have gotten crushed. Oh, fuck off. Get out of the water. I don't know what happened to those four Pikmin. This guy is tricky. Oh, he's way over there now. <sighs> Automatic gear. There's a thin, it has thin cracks running through it. I tried to fill them with dirt. I hope it will be all right. <laughs> I have now recovered six out of 30. You need six more to increase the capabilities. So these dudes are fire starters. 
they light things on or they blow fire and red is immune to fire no 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 get him get him get him come on okay good if you can get them to uh out pull him on the thing they can drag him along and he will spawn uh he will drop an item yes ed lots of pikmin a hundred to be exact The very most I can have. Okay, we're at midday. I'm kind of slacking a little bit, but not much else I can do at the moment. Here. We have 19. All right, there's one up here too. So this guy is coming. I think he might um, just take damage and not actually die from this. We'll see. Oh yeah, he just took damage. Oh, he didn't actually die. So close. Ooh, maybe I can bait him. Yeah, here he comes. There we go. Are you guys kidding me? said about the pathing not always being the best. to take it because they're closer than the blue. Do I have any other Pikmin just left around? I have some blues down there. I'll go get those. Oh, I still a bunch of time left, actually. <clears throat> oh, and those blues are actually just going down to their ship. And if you start carrying a piece at one point, um, it will stay where you left it the next day. So you can make, like, incremental progress on parts. I found my ion jet, or my number one ion jet. Unfortunately, this puts out a slightly odoriferous uh, odorif odorif exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Good, I need 15, I have 18. Okay, so like this one's not on and I think I need the Pikmin to activate it. Yeah. So this is a shortcut for me, but I, I have these two Pikmin with me. I could have thrown them, I guess, but. I should be blasting down these walls. I don't remember where the bomb... Ro oh, I guess the bomb rocks are down. Um, where those blue guys just went. So actually, I'm going to take these yellows. 
Try to blast these walls down before the end of the day. Wow, there's a lot of bombs in there. All right, go up and meet these yellow folks. See, this could sometimes be dangerous because you would retrieve them and then throw them up and then they might drop their bombs. But I think they may have improved that because it doesn't seem like they do that anymore, thankfully. <clears throat> okay, so this is a regular gray wall, so this should go down in two. This might take a bit more. Is that three pieces today? Number one, oh, that's you. <clears throat> Maybe two pieces today. Oh, come on, yellow guy. Okay. okay. So I'll at least make progress on that for next. Oh, it didn't. This wall didn't break down. Shit. I wasn't paying attention to that, idiot. Well, balls. Get them all flowered up. Okay, where are the Pikmin that I'm missing? Uh, they're all at the ship. It looks like, or at the blue onion, maybe. So that's good. Uh, I will need to open all of these doors eventually. Hope if I can find more bombs. Oh shit, I didn't actually collect this. Thank goodness, my space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill at swimming in space. Yeah, I collected it, but I didn't, or I released it, but I ne didn't actually collect it. So I think that's three pieces this uh, day. Good progress. An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this, but my motto is always be prepared. Really, it's just for emergencies. I've now recovered eight out of 30 parts. If I can find just four more, I should be able to increase my ship's cap capabilities. Please tell me I have all 100. Where are the rest of them? I think the others are down. Yeah, they're just blues at the blue ship. Yeah. Which should be fine, but just to be safe. Go collect them. And the ones at the onion should be fine without my help. Or the ones at the landing site, I should say. I think the next goal is to go back to this. I'm missing one. Where is the one I'm missing? Did somebody trip? That is another thing that happens is Pikmin can trip. So I may have lost one due to that. If I hadn't even gone down to get those blue guys, it would have been completely fine. But I may have lost one for unnecessarily doing that. Let's see. Yeah, I may go back to the starting area and get, yep. Oh, it was a red guy I left behind somehow. So if you leave him behind, then you watch him get murdered in the night. Four days since impact. Deep in the cave I discovered in the forest, I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows uh, sometimes resembling, or have something resembling gills on their cheeks. Uh, and they appear to be amphibious. Surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. All right, I left one behind. That was my bad. I'm not doing as great as I was hoping. <laughs> I haven't played this game like 10 years. That's my excuse. I've lost 13 so far. Not awful by day, what, that was day eight? Or day four? I have eight parts, that was day four. You know, not the best, but not awful. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to come back here at some point, right? Let's go. You can build up my stocks. 
of all my Pikmin types. That's basically what this is. There's one piece here, but then there's also just so many pellets and enemies um, to loot. So step one is going to be killing all the enemies and getting the one part, and then the rest of the day is just going to be hunting gathering. I don't know how many blues I took out. 28. Okay. So I'm going to have a majority yellows today. Actually, pretty even reds and yellows, I guess. So this bug, if you kill it, it drops nectar. You can't actually, like, attack it. You have to throw a pigment on top of it, and it'll drop nectar sometimes. But... Okay. So there is an enemy up here, usually? Is it gonna, like, fall down from the sky on me? Is there not an enemy here? Maybe I came back- I might have come back early enough that there's no enemy here. Because, uh, typically there is. You know, they seem to have improved that, um, control thing. I did drop one or two down there, but I'll recover them in a minute. So, there is also one of these, like, thicket doors, but I believe you can break them down faster using these. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so this next step is going to need some blue Pikmin. I think I left one down here, so I'm going to go retrieve him. There's the yellow one that was trapped in the box. Couple folks by the wall over here. Alright. So, we got some water, as you can see, which is why we need the blues. And we got some clams! Come on, come on. So you just gotta be... I'm sure there's probably a faster way to do this, but uh, you just gotta be kind of patient with the clam. <clears throat> Throw a bunch. Call him back. I'm pretty sure the... Like, even for the one that's not in the water... Oh, come on! Oh, I almost got I'm pretty sure that blue sphere in the middle counts as water, so other Pikmin... Uh-oh. He might still close. By combining batteries with solar cells, this machine can generate incredible amounts of electricity. What a timely find. Those instant space noodles will taste better than heated up. Come on, come on. Still, yeah, see, that was, thing still closes. <laughs> And this is a pearl. Pearls, I believe, give you a hundred Pikmin of whatever color ship they go to. That Pikmin was almost dead. I thought for certain he was about to die. <clears throat> so this is just throw a whole bunch and then recall them when you get too scared. I could have left that another second, but... I'm really trying to not lose too many Pikmin, you know? <laughs> Contrary to what my gameplay has really shown so far. So I think I want the blues to get one of these. I want the yellows to get one. And then we'll just get everybody their appropriately colored pellets to get like the big, the big bucks. Oh, I hit B and it didn't work fast enough. Oh, that was honestly made me a little nervous. I hit B and it didn't whistle right away. Come on, break it. Oh, I didn't throw enough that time. 
Yeah, a little, a little complacent. There we go. Okie doke. So now it's cleanup time. Yellow, yellow lads. I need. Actually, I can just bring everybody. Yellow. to help with this. Okay, good. I still have 20 left over here. Uh, is everything over here cleaned up? I need to get two more yellows up here, but I'll throw these guys up here for now. There's nothing else over here except for the, the stupid glint beetle. So yeah, this is mainly just a resource gathering. If you ever run super low on Pikmin, uh, you can come back here even after you've gotten, like even after you've been here once, you can come back and a lot of this stuff will be regener or like, respawned and you can just harvest Pikmin. So if you have a really bad day and you lose like all of your Pikmin, Positron generator. This electric generator is so powerful that if you approach it carelessly, you'll get an electric shock. I now received recovered nine of 30 parts. If I can find three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capability. So hopefully I can do that in the next day. Get three more parts. Also a good opportunity to make sure you you flower up all of your folks. Okay. So we'll send everybody up for as many as we can. All right up with them. Basically, these are all tenors. Um... We need some more blues to be able to carry their thing. Um, but we can carry it down with everybody else and then just have the blues uh, take it over once they get down there. I don't really care about the colors matching for these. Although it does seem like red's got all of them. But blue and yellow both got it, uh, you know, uh, pearl. So that's sort of a fair trade off. <clears throat> After days like this, it's really nice to to go and look at your report at the end and see just how many you got. <laughs> it's a very satisfying line graph. Yeah, again, red got all the or blue and yellow got the pearls, so it's only fair to let red get the pellets. Keep things somewhat even, I guess. Doing this as haphazardly as I am, though, you just got to be careful to make sure you recall all of your Pikmin. Uh, I'm not sure how much of this area counts as like the starting area or like the uh, landing pad. So you might lose some if they're not like right in the middle over here.
So just, you know, when it gets to a little bit later in the day, or once you're done collecting everything, make sure you got your hundred. here this time. Again, I may have just come back quickly enough that it didn't spawn. Oh, you know, before going back to the forest navel, I might just try... Alright, where am I missing one? To clean up the last level, or the second level, now that I have the blues, I might be able to get... There's three pieces, maybe four pieces left there. I might be able to get all I need. Okay, so now that I'm just completely finished here and there's nothing else left to do... You can hit minus and then go to sunset. There's also apparently a thunderstorm going on outside, so if anything happens, if I suddenly stop streaming, my power went out. But that doesn't really usually happen, so hopefully it won't. It's only happened once or twice in the years that I've lived here. But you never know. That was a very successful day. Let's look at the lion. That bull bear wasn't here. Where'd you come from? Five days since impact. I've seen that at times the leaf atop of Pigeon Sea. I already told you guys about that. I found flower fiction to possess increased swiftness when in a rush. Yeah. Uh, yep. Bam, look at those lines. Sprouted. 210 Pikmin. Nice. I guess it's 50 for the the pearl, not 100, because I went. I have 93 blues now. Well, that's good. Maybe I should have given both pearls to blue, but whatever. How many parts do I have left in the Forest of Hope? Four. It's unfortunate. I don't know if I can get all four parts today, and if not, I'm going to have to... Uh, come back for probably one part I blew up all the doors I might be able to just rush around with the blues and collect a bunch of these though so let's see See if I can flower more of you guys up before we go. Mm, okay, I was gonna say apparently not. See, look at that huge group that got on that one piece of nectar. So wasting it for one Pikmin is not great most of the time. If you have multiple that you need to get flowered. Okay, we're pretty much there. There's like four or five leaves left, leaves left, but I'm not worried about that for right now. All right, you guys bust down these doors. Okay, so this one's here. Two, three, where's the fourth one? So there's this one here. Oh, right there. Okay. That one there and that. This is a boss. And this one I'm going to here is a boss. I should be spreading my... I should have put like half of these here and then gone to try to take down a different wall. But... I'm going to do that this time. because this wall actually takes quite a bit of time to knock down. So I'm gonna just leave those guys there to do what they will. You can't just focus on one thing in this game. You really gotta multitask. I, th I don't know how long the days are. I wanna say they're like, it's like 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah, see, look, these stupid bugs are gnawing on my, my ramp. 
Okay. So once those two are dead, you're pretty much in the clear. Uh, the pink ones do not damage you. They will eat the bridge, but they, I don't... Wait, how did I just lose? Oh no, I, I only had 93 blues. This is how did I lose seven? <laughs> I guess I could let you guys take these back then. Uh, actually, those ball bears might have something to say about it. I could walk them up, but it's not, you know, it's pigmen walking. Not great. <laughs> the shock absorber. This apparatus contracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. It's smooth sailing with, uh, with this in place, usually. So are you guys going to path towards the ball bear? You sure are. All right, let's see if I can do this. Come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, come on. Oh, I lost some. Damn it. Not too many, actually. Could have gone worse. I should have had more with me, but... That other wall is down. I want all of my guys for this boss, so I'm gonna speed this up and bring all these lads up with me. Haha. <laughs> I don't know if you can do that or not. Shock Absorber, this nifty little device counteracts the shaking and swaying experience in typical space flight. I have now retreat, recovered 10 out of 30. There's a cool little Easter egg thing you can do, which I'll show later. I don't want to do it now because I need to be on my game to get these last two, these last three parts, I think. Um, this boss is a little more difficult for me. The other one is not hopefully going to be that hard. This one, though be a bit of a bitch. Oh, and I messed up. I just lost a whole load of Pikmin. Damn it. So you have to throw them in when he's inhaling and then throw them on the back. Okay, actually, this won't be that bad. Oh, I one-cycled him. Let's go. Oh, fuck yes. At last, my radiation canopy. This turns the harsh radiation of deep space into soft infrared rays that are easy on the body. I'll sleep like a baby once I get us back on the ship. What do I need here? Oh, I need 30. Okay. Okay, I lost a decent amount to that, but honestly, I feared more. I should have rotated them around a little bit better so that they weren't in his path of fire, but... I need to get these things filled up and then scout ahead to make sure that they're not going into harm's way. So I will at least get the three that I need to um, 
get to the next area. And I still have more than half the day left, or just about half the day left, I guess. This is a water day. Regenerated our blues. Some of them have even grown bulbs. How are you guys doing out there? Still, still doing some Minecraft? Is Jay still on with you guys? I know if you're vaulting or something, you can't respond. But just figured I'd see how you guys are doing. I'll probably be on for a little bit tonight after I'm done with the stream. Let's rush the harder piece. Because if I... Oh, come on. Okay, good. Rush the harder piece because if I don't get both of them, I'm going to have to come back anyway. Oh, you didn't... Oh, wow, you guys have to level 10 already. Nice. All right, I'm losing some here. Oh, this... I did not do a good strategy for this guy. I am losing a lot of... Pikmin here. Holy shit, that guy was not good. Did you finish the vault? Did you you finish the elixir one? Oh, 12. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you guys got drawers, you're making some good progress. I don't know why they don't like... Ugh. Shit. I'm doing really poorly against these bull bears today for some reason. Okay, this one's a little, you know, a little bit better. I'm still losing a bunch. I don't know why I did some of the earlier ones way better. My aiming is way off right now. Maybe rushing isn't the best option with these. I just need to unload onto the back so that they'll hold on and attack it before it has a chance to wake up. Yeah. Right, because if you have too many on, it'll shake them off. Where, did, where are those three? Oh, they're over there. Lord. So technically I can do this one with yellows and reds and it might be better because the yellows can fly higher and that might be a helpful feature to have, but I think I'm just going to try to do this with blues. I'm going kind of for a full blue day, you know, which means theoretically, oh shit, theoretically I didn't even need to open the, uh, or move that box. Look, I just throw in the blue. Oh, I guess I need to move the box to get all the more up here. Okay. Let's see. Come on out. Oh, God. The second one came out. Oh, God. I wasn't expecting two of them to come out. I'm going to lose a bunch here. Both of these fuckers coming out at the same time is bad news. I should retreat. Fuck me. That was not good. Fuck. Why are they both here? I don't think that's how that's normally supposed to go. for right now we are just gonna come down here and 
start working on this. That was very bad. <clears throat> I thought that boss was gonna be easier, but guess not. Really fucked up on that one. Well, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this can this piece now. I'm gonna have to come back for both of them. I can at least make progress on this one. If nothing else. And regrow my blue population a little bit. That boss was abysmal. I wouldn't have been able to get both of these pieces anyway, but I lost so many Pikmin on that thing. Did I leave anybody behind? I fucking did. Shit. Come on, you guys. Hurry up and finish so we can go get your friends. Damn it. I fucked up real bad. Well, those three are, you know, possibly going to be left behind. Oh, there's more than three. There's a bunch here. Oh, they got a flower. That's why they fell behind, you morons. You are lucky I came back for you. Oh, I keep trying to pause to find out where my guys are, but you can't pause. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Oh, I just lost so many there. Well, fuck. I just left 85 Pikmin behind. How the fuck, man? I hit X right. I meant to hit. I was trying to hit B and I hit X the last second. My Lord, that was really bad. I cannot believe I just did that. Well, I guess I'm going to use some of the time today to rebuild my blue, my blue, uh, supply. That was so, so terrible. I cannot believe I just did that. That is awful. Left 85 blue Pikmin behind. Why are there two bull bears over here now? What the fuck? You son of a bitches? Yeah, I guess if I surround them, it makes it possible that Pikmin will be in front of it where I can eat them. But if I just throw them at the back, they'll buck them off and not be able to get to the ones behind it. Because they'll waste time shaking them off. Oh, come on. Hang on. Didn't lose any that time. All right, well, that one just picked up a bomb. Wonderful. Where's, I'm missing another one. How did you get stuck back there? You, you're fine. You're at the, you're at the base. <laughs> You're fine. And I could probably use these yellows against this boss, but I am too scared to do that. <clears throat> Another issue that this poses is that I have to walk these folks over because they're not blue. They have a very real chance of drowning. Cool. You guys, come on, please don't drown.
Are you gonna slide into the water? You sure as hell are. Okay. Stage one of this super annoying fight. Dialing in my aiming for this thing's face is what's causing me issues. There we go. Uh oh. Okay. See, every once in a while they get stuck in the ground and you can just pile them on. That's that's what I was trying to get last time. And it just did not work out. Because you do not do a lot of damage to their body, you have to attack their head. All right, well, that's going to be how I resupply my blue population. I also probably shouldn't be standing in front of him, which is what's allowing him to do that. But. Stop running away. Okay. Two down. I've only lost nine this time. Way better. And you know what? You're going over here just because I do not trust myself with you for right now. He didn't, he didn't come out head first this time and get stuck, which really uh, hampers my chances of winning. Okay, there we go. Easy as that. Why couldn't I do that the first time? I've lost 15 this time. Geiger counter? Yeah. Every spaceship needs one of these, but I don't actually know what it's for. Every once in a while, it goes wild and lets out a lot of noise, but I never pay much attention to it, so it doesn't do... Uh, it doesn't do much me much good. I really should read the manual one of these days. Okay. I wish there was a way to tell that guy to just drop that. But, you know. They're going to go the long way, aren't they? Actually, what am I doing? I need to get the Geiger counter first. I hope there weren't any living enemies. I'm pretty sure I killed all the enemies along the way. Thank you. 
Repopulate the blue Pikmin. I still need to get the last part. But I think I already have the bridge completed unless it got bugged up. I guess I should respawn a couple reds and yellows just because I lost a bunch to the birds. Beautiful. So many Pikmin. wasting nectar over there now three of them took a whole thing of nectar don't worry guys nobody else needed that it's just you out here can I see my totals yes oh I have only 70 82 blues yeah i definitely need to prioritize blues i have over 100 of both red and yellow <coughs> blues it is i mean i knew that anyway but good to verify precise numbers No nectar. We'll go get the last part. All right, well, that was easy. That's good. Sagittarius? Yeah. My Sagittarius. My son gave me this to me as a present. It brings to mind visions of my son back home on planet Hokitate. Oh, to be back there right now. and see if I can farm some nectar for these lads and get some more Pikmin. I have half a quarter of a day left. Get some pellets and some enemies, most likely. Because those lads back there are slow because there's only leaves. Uh-oh. 
Threw that guy a little too hastily, I'll be honest. Okay, there's some possible nectar up there. He looks at Darius is on the right side there. This is a gift for my son, yeah. It does say something slightly different, but. Okay, so he's at 16 more parts, so yeah. I just unlocked the last area aside from the final, like, boss area. Because the, the last, last area only has one part. Uh-oh. All right, you know, let's, let's not worry about those guys for right now. <laughs> you know. Oh, you know what? I don't think that one does give nectar. I think there's a specific one of those glitter bugs. Glistening beetles or whatever they're called that gives nectar, but not that one. All right, let's 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 hope this is like one of our worst days and we don't really fuck up again like I have been. <laughs> okay, let's, let's hope that that's how these things go from now on. Did a decent job of recuperating those blues as well as getting the last two parts in, in this area. Let's go see if I can get this nectar up here quickly to satiate these blues and get them flowered up. Nobody left behind until maybe these guys. For anybody who missed the last day, I accidentally dismissed all 85 of my Pikmin by the at the end of the day and it was right before time ran out so i wasn't able to recall them all right no nectar there awesome okay well i should just stand here so i don't accidentally lose any pikmin <laughs> fairly successful whatever day this was i lost not too many to the birds more than i would have liked but the targeting on that is a little hard seven days since impact i managed to increase the range of the dolphin looking from the dolphin's portal as it launches ever higher into the sky i see a vast wetland in the deepest parts of the forest i shall call it the distant spring i can begin my exploration of it tomorrow for now i must sleep yeah, we only lost 15 in battle. Not not bad. Total, we've lost... What is that? 183? Which sucks, but 85 of those were... Uh, accidental dismissal. Blue numbers rising back up. Good. Looking great. Uh, 13 parts left. Seven, uh, 23 days left. Pretty good uh, rate there. We currently have 489 Pikmin, which is good. Um, oh no, sorry. Yes, yeah. Uh, and with that, I think I'm gonna end the stream for today. I don't wanna do a whole nother day at this point. And next time, honestly, I may be able to do this in just one more stream because there's six parts left in the Forest Naval 
and then the 10 parts here and then the last one i should hopefully be able to do that um i thought this was going to take a couple like two, eight hours but it seems like it's only going to take about six so you know nice uh, I should be able to finish. I mean, I'm going to finish next time at this rate because there won't be another po a part, a point to another stream unless I go right into Pikmin 2 after that. But we'll see how that works, how next time goes. Um, so thanks for hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed Pikmin. I love this game. I'm so happy to play it again, and I'm so excited for Pikmin 4. So see you around.